Hello, hello, I am Kibana Davis, and today I will be measuring uh, skin folds. Um, this is my client, Chris, and I will be demonstrating to you guys on how to uh, measure skin folds. Okay, so uh, first you want to start out to the right of the client. Uh, the first measurement we will be taking will be on the abdomen. Um, you want to measure two centimeters, which would be the equivalent of one pinky, away from the umbilicus. You're going to take your pen, you're going to mark two centimeters away. Alrighty, and we're going to get prepare for a measurement. Then you take your skin fold or your skin caliper. You want to make sure, I have a digital skin caliper, but it also allows me to, to measure manually as well. So I'm going to make sure it's set on zero. You always want to grab above the location. You grip the skin as tightly as possible. And then you measure the skin. This was nine millimeters on the abdomen. All right. Next, we're going, to, we're going to do the triceps. So, in doing the triceps, uh, we're going to do the vertical folds on the posterior midline of his upper arm, halfway between uh, the top of his shoulder blade and the bottom of his elbow. So, we take our measuring tape. And we're going to measure from the top of his elbow. I mean, from the top of his shoulder to his elbow. The halfway mark would be here. I'm going to take my pen. And I'm going to mark his tricep. I'm going to take the skin caliper. Make sure it's set at zero. Make sure that the measurement of the uh, skin caliper is facing upward. Pinch his skin. Get a good grip to measure the fat. Five point nine zero. Let's try that again, just to make sure the measurement is accurate. You're gonna pinch it, get a good grip on the skin. Make sure the caliper is facing upward. I'm standing to the right with my client, and we're gonna test it again. And that was five millimeters. So. It was about the same measurement. Okay, next we're going to do the biceps. Um, so on the anterior aspect of the arm, which will be the front of the arm, we're going to do the same thing over the belly of the muscle, of the bicep muscle, about one centimeter above um, the tricep site. So I'm going to take the measurement again from the top of his shoulder. To his elbow with his arms hanging low to his side. Halfway mark would be here. I'm gonna leave my finger on the mark. Do you mind holding your finger right here until I get my pen, please? I'm gonna mark the location site. Alrighty, and we're gonna measure. You're gonna take your thumb and your index finger, and you're gonna pinch above the location site. Get a good squeeze. And we're gonna measure. So 
about 15 millimeters there. All right, next we're gonna do the chest or the pictorial fold. Uh, it's gonna be one half the distance between the anterior auxiliary line and the nipple. So, again, standing at the right side of his body, the midline between the shoulder blade and the nipple here, using my tape, going to measure here, it would be here, find my mark with my pen. At the site. Again, we're going to take our skin calipers and our dominant right hand using our thumb and our index finger, giving it a good pinch. About seven millimeters. All right. The next fold we're going to do will be the medial calf, and it's going to be the maximum circumference of the calf on the midline of the medial border. Okay, so on the calf muscle, don't turn, don't turn, because I'm usually be standing on this side. So we're going to just measure the calf at the midline of the calf, will be here. We'll take my pen and mark at the center or in the center of the calf muscle. Make sure the skin caliper is facing upward 